Hello guys, it's another episode of Painting Companion where I spend an hour <coughs> painting something and ram rambling about what I'm doing. Okay, so today I have this beautiful space marine. I need to make a to paint him as a sample miniature and for this hour I would like to make paint his plasma gun, plasma pistol and I will see how much time after that I will have left so maybe I will paint something, some other detail okay so I could paint this whole plasma with uh, this brush but as you probably know I'm a big fan of airbrush so I will make it a little bit easier for myself using my favorite tool okay Will still require a fair amount of. I'm, I'm, I don't know why I'm explaining myself. I guess it's because a lot of people don't like airbrushing. I mean, they like it, or maybe they don't have anything against it, but they often complain that they can't use perfectly particular tutorials because they don't have any brush <clears throat> that's too bad because it's great too it's not that expensive it, it, ex it is expensive but if you want to paint at least one whole like, decent size Warhammer collection it will be worth it I guess I understand why people uh, complain because they see some kind of tutorial and they don't have the tools to utilize it. It's it's okay, it's fine. I I know your pain, but I will still use my favorite tools. And yeah. Okay, so it will be orange, but I will need to start with some kind of red just to give it a slight glow by the way nothing is really painted on this miniature I just put like the first the first base layer I always do and that's that so this uh, plasma gun, plasma pistol will be, will be the first finished piece on this little miniature. I don't really use the uh, object source lighting. Very often, but plasma guns and plasma effects are, and maybe all the power weapons uh, in Warhammer are the special case. As you probably know, I will need to get it as close as possible to my face. Unfortunately, orange is very poor color choice. So I will just make 
like few basic highlights with <coughs> mix of orange and white and then I will try to hide off myself with a brushing another layer. Okay, so since this is the main source of light, so this edge will be very much in, in the light. Oh, you probably, if you ever saw any tutorial about mm, painting plasma weapons, they often make this edge very visible. So it's just very basic outline of the highlights. And really, it's just all the matter of time, and I don't want to spend too much time glazing and making all over transitions on this gun. So I will use, and uh, orange is very bad paint color to do that. It has very weak pigment. Every orange on the market, I never found any. This this one I use is French orange from Under a Color. This one is the I would say the least bad. But Still very bad. So bring to other colors. Okay, so I will try to make some. Kind of orange glow here. <clears throat> yeah, so thanks to the basic uh, highlights I did before airbrushing, the highlights are a little bit stronger. So now I can go even further and maybe use something very close to the white. And I'm trying to concentrate concentrate all the pigment in somewhat in the middle of this edge and at the very top of the coils. I could get away with using it even straight white. don't have like a lot of experience in painting um, plasma guns. Ooh. 
Okay, so I need to take something slightly darker than white and try to make a little bit more highlights around the actual coils. This is uh, some different kind of plasma gun. It has a really strange shape. I don't know if it's uh, some kind of new pattern or the old new pattern as you often see in Warhammer, like the Primaris armor. Okay, so don't, I don't, I will not speak a lot in this few moments because I need to concentrate. Maybe it's even better. I think it looks okay, but I will in a moment I will need to add a little bit more red to the mix. You can see a brush can help a little bit, but you still have a lot of work to do. Okay, so it's, it looks it looks okay, but a little still a little bit blend so I will add a little bit of red yeah that's better few glazes here and there I guess it would be nice to have a stream, to do a stream and ask you if it if it's finished, if you think it's okay, it looks good, or I should do a little bit more, but yeah, that's not a stream, 
por el momento maybe I need to hit more orange but yeah, it's pretty close I guess I still need to paint the rest of the gun but it's a decent plasma gun So it took me like 15 minutes, so I need to paint something else on him. I guess I will try to make his uh, helmet. Mm. And I will show you a strange thing, because uh, one of my customers asked me to do like particular uh, color scheme. scheme on this model and these are the colors for the armor Whoop. maybe i will do them in the yeah so this is like the base color this is the middle and this is the highlight and it uh, really um, it's strange when you it's not that bad, it's, I, I get it, I get why people describe the color schemes like that and it's a good uh, idea overall but I would go like only with those two because in the end those would be the two colors that are clearly visible on the model uh, and there is not enough contrast between them to make this, this, this in the middle uh, very visible or I would do like black this one and maybe this one with a little bit of white but still I got I got my requirements so I need to follow them um, so I will try to make uh, highlights and along this requirements I got I already spread the, the model uh, so I would only need to do like the highlights on on the helmet it's the light you can tell me in the comment section if you actually watch it it's the lighting too strong I I guess so maybe I don't know maybe now it looks more natural natural anyway let me know if now it's better because i have no idea in real life it looks good but i don't really know how it looks on the video and when i will upload it it would it would be it would be it will be too late so let me know if i should change anything Mm, for the next video okay so since I have most of the highlights already already done so I will just focus on the edges surface 
as well, but just only a little bit. Need to make sure that whatever I do would will be fairly easy replicable on the whole army so I need to stick to the techniques that can scale which is sometimes a little bit hard but I have my I, I'm doing it so long, so it's uh, it was really hard at the beginning, but now I have my methods, I have my team, which know most of my methods, so yeah, just need to stick to the things that work. And on the other side on, of the helmet, just a little bit up on the ear and just a small highlight around the eyes. This part of his helmet looks a little bit uneven, but it's okay. Just a little bit more on, on the front of, him, of his face. Okay, so yeah, I have like the basic highlights. Now I need to, since the base layer was uh, a little bit on the bright side I will need to do a little bit of black lining I focus okay so maybe not really black lining I will just paint the all parts that uh, aren't his helmet like eyes and this, and this little skull on his helmet looks cool you really usually when the background of the helmet is uh, a little bit darker and I want to add a little bit of edge to the color Something's missing around his eye, don't you think? I think it's the highlight is not even. I need to be more precise.
better but I'm not still there I guess I will just cover the whole, whole area with some darker paint dark, darker paint and I will fix that when I will be uh, painting his um, eyes uh, visors okay Whew. it's hot in here and I don't want to use fan okay so I want to be a little bit uh, conservative with the use of colors oh, his, his face is strange I can't get the proper edge on his uh, face mask right. go overboard Time and time again. I don't know why, really. Yeah, now it's look better. Looks better. I got what I wanted. More or less. Okay, so I want to be a little bit more on the conservative side with the color scheme. I don't want to use a lot of colors, so I will use uh, the same colors for his plasma gun as for his eyes. So I want to paint like at least half of the eye with a red. Maybe uh, the bottom rim of his face mask as well, just to throw a little glow. Okay, and now I need to <coughs> paint the one corner of his eye with. Orange. Okay, I will need a little bit more orange, but I will give it a second to dry. I will mix a little bit of orange with red and uh, do a small glaze for the glow. It should be darker than the source of the glow, should be a little bit darker uh, than the source of the light because it's further from the source. Okay, I will make a small dot on the other side of the eyes just to get an orientation where is the end it's too big so I will take a little bit of black and red and I will try to make it smaller and if I don't succeed, I will make just another one. Yeah, it's smaller, but now it's too small. And 
and again okay, it's too big but it's closer yeah now it looks okay maybe I want to do like this final bright highlight on the other side of his eyes just a bright orange dot as well yeah it looks okay and now I want to highlight the bottom rim of his ace visor just a little bit to show that it's it's there yeah okay so I need to do like a similar thing on the other side which will be a little bit harder because I don't have that good It. but it's it's still possible I don't know if you can can see it from this angle but it is there I will add a little bit of red to it it's a little bit awkward but it's there okay so I painted his Plasma Glow, his helmet with uh, an eyes, and there is one small detail that is missing. I should definitely highlight the bottom part of these holes on his helmet. It does not need to be this highlight. Uh, does not need to be very strong but it should be there okay, matter of fact I guess I painted it too strong but I can always cover it you should really be comfortable with covering your mistakes it's like the half of the work Okay, so without starting like all other major part, uh, I will <coughs> maybe highlight the shield on his breastplate. So I want to highlight the upper edges. So like the top, this small piece here, and now I want to highlight the middle edge, middle edges. When you are doing the edge highlights, you don't need to do like these straight lines through the whole model. You can make it a little bit more interesting by doing like the single spots of light. You can highlight only the half of the surface or maybe a little bit a little bit more than half. Do you don't need to go like straight forward from the start to the end on every edge. It is very time consuming and it doesn't really look that good unless you do it perfectly on every edges maybe then it creates some kind of interesting interesting effect but it's not very often it's not that good okay so what else I could do here 
it could really be a uh, live stream so you could tell me which part you want to see uh, painted okay um, Decent. Okay, so give me a second. I will check because I knew like the two requirements for the model: uh, the orange glow and the main armor. And I don't know how I should paint the other details. So give me a second. I will check it with my painting guidelines, and I will uh, paint another detail in the remaining 25 minutes <sighs> you know what I should be more careful because there was uh, in the requirements and uh, I got the detail that I should paint his eyes blue yeah that's why I will make need to make it uh, need to paint his eyes again that's not a big deal, but uh, I will spare you another 20 minutes of painting his eyes. So I will do the breastplate, I mean the angel on his uh, breastplate, which is a, mm, a great occasion to show you the basic approach to painting anything metal so I need to put like this straight silver on this whole ornament So if you get like the one thing from this video, it should be that you should be more prepared to the work you do, because if you are not careful, sometimes you need to do the same work twice. Okay, so I have uh, just plain silver on the miniature mm. and now I need to apply wash and in this case you have three basic options, maybe four if you are really into experiments. Okay, so if I want to make paint like the plain steel, I would use non oil just to wash it. If I would like to paint gold, I would use seraphim sepia. And if I would like to do some metal in between. I can't really tell what kind of metal it would be, but uh, the kind that has is very dark, but has a little bit of brown in it. Uh, I would use Agrax Airshade. Yeah, and uh, sometimes. I mix uh, Seraphim Sepia with Regland Flesh Shade to make copper instead, instead of gold, but yeah, only for very minor, deta minor details because it does not look good on, uh, I mean the copper, not the other washes, uh, on the larger uh, pieces. 
but in this particular case I will use Hydrax. You need to really make sure that the base layer of silver is dry, so give it a second. And after that you can just go for it and wash the whole piece. And for the contrast, I will uh, maybe not for the contrast, but just for the comparison, I will make one piece of metal that is plain steel and one piece of metal that is gold. So for steel, I will do this pure piece. And for gold, I will do this small cross here. Oh, sorry, this small cross here. And uh, for this kind of painting metal, you will need to pick the brightest silver paint you have. So in my case, is this one, but if you have like the something like the all bolt gun metal it won't be as good you also need to make sure that your washes are very oh, sorry mixed because uh, when they are not mixed properly they often uh, are a little bit glossy which looks not so good on the miniature. Here I applied too much wash so I can make my uh, brush a little bit dry and trying to drain it a little bit. And now I can add small smaller layer. It is really hard to uh, wash the small pieces without much detail. Ah, this is a new new bottle wash, so I want I will not open it because I still have another one, which is probably already mixed. Yeah, I, I guess I sh showed this uh, technique of painting metal a few times before, but yeah, it's really the easiest way to paint gold, especially when you have small pieces with a lot of detail, then it works wonders and each case when you don't need to use actual uh, gold paint it's uh, like the day saved because you know how how easy to paint gold is okay this is a bit, there is a little bit too much wash okay so i need to give it a second to dry I guess the uh, angel is getting there it's, uh, and also it's very important to leave all, of you, all the bottles of wash open so you can easily uh, buy another one. It's almost there, but this uh, the black one is already dry. This piece will be a little bit problematic because it's small and 
don't have a little a lot of spaces when the uh, wash where the wash can flow flow in so yeah but I still need to do this little earpiece and I will need to do another round on the angel most of the time I do two layers of wash and the same thing for for the gold and now I just need to let it dry properly Sometimes you need to drain a little bit of wash to avoid pulling, like here. But yeah, after that, you just need a little bit of silver to highlight them, and that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. What I can do in the meantime. Just to talk more about the color scheme, I have the main color of the armor, so this kind of brown and the orange power, power weapons, blue eyes, uh, and after that I have like this one shade of uh, metal which will be on the other rings and all, almost all the other details other than gold which I guess will be uh, this 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 skull in the middle and maybe this this piece because he's like a lieutenant so he needs to have he needs to look a little bit richer than just plain marines uh, so I will add a little bit gold, but usually it would, it would be the eyes, the armor, eyes, power weapons, and black as the another color. So I will probably paint black robes on him. <clears throat> I'm not so sure about this uh, gun thing, uh, sachet or whatever. Maybe I would add a little bit of brown to it. Since the uh, rope will be black, it would be not so good to paint uh, his belt as black as well. So I will probably make it uh, brown. And after that, I will just have few more de few more details to do, like purity seals. And I guess that's that. So yeah, this will be very limited color scheme, just the way I like it. I would do, normally I would do the same color for the power weapons and the eyes, but I guess uh, blue is also a good idea. Sometimes I'm a little bit too minimalistic, so I really like the... Um, like limited color palette but <clears throat> sometimes few more details won't hurt okay so i won't need a uh, any more wash so i will close them to avoid disasters and i after that you have very nice uh, pieces of metal especially gold so I will just add few few highlights to make them more visible and a little bit bright just few spots the wash is still a little bit uh, wet so I don't want to mix it with and the silver 
because it would ruin the effect the piece I just want to do like two spots and leave it as that same for his forehead Yeah, so I'm pretty, pretty happy with the work I managed to do in an hour and I got the, as you can see, the plasma, eyes, helmet, a little bit of the armor, a um, few metal, metal pieces, it's still, there is still a lot of work to do, but you even now you can see more or less how it will look at the end you are you should at least get some idea uh, yeah I would I will finish it later so I guess for today it's everything so maybe it isn't a full hour but uh, But who say it should be? <laughs> uh, I don't want to start anything else because it will probably take longer than that and the time I have left. So yeah, I hope this was useful for you. Maybe a little bit entertaining. Um, I will try to do another, another uh, painting session, painting companion in uh, next week. Yeah, let's see how far uh, I will be able to keep it going. So yeah, let me know if you need something particular for me to show and <clears throat> see you in the next video. Cheers.